Grok can now see and understand images thanks to its new vision capability. In a blog post, the X platform just announced Grok 1.5 Vision Preview, which is their first generation multimodal model. Now it can understand images and the results on the benchmarks are extremely impressive. So for example, just like GPT-4, you can provide an image of a decision diagram and the model is able to generate working Python code. Apart from the model release, they also released a new image dataset called Real World Q&A. This is going to be a new benchmark for assessing multimodal and visual models. Apart from the text capabilities, this new model can now process visual information including diagrams, documents, charts, screenshots, and photographs. The new Grok is going to be available to early testers and existing Grok users pretty soon. Let's look at the benchmarks before looking at some of the examples. So out of the seven uh, visual benchmarks, Grok can outperform the existing multimodels on three of them, which is pretty impressive for a new model. These include MathVista. So these are basically mathematical formula and it assesses the uh, understanding of the model to understand mathematical formula from images. There's a text visual Q&A and the newly released real world Q&A dataset. Even on the other datasets, the performance of this new model is very close to other models. This includes GPT-4, Cloud3 Opus, and Gemini Pro 1.5. Here are some of the examples they have shown. So for example, here is a flow diagram, uh, and they asked it to translate this into Python code. It's able to generate working Python code just by looking at what is in the image, which is pretty impressive, even though this is a relatively sim simple flow diagram. Now, here is another example. So here's a label with nutritional information. Now, if you look here, the serving size here is uh, three slices and the calories for those three slices are 60 calories. But the question is how many calories are in five slices? If you were to do this, uh, let's say five years ago, you will have to write a whole bunch of code and use a whole bunch of different uh, models that would include an ensemble of vision model as well as uh, some traditional machine learning models to come up with the solution. But now you can just give this image, ask a question, and Grok 1.5 vision is able to correctly identify that first it has to compute uh, what is the calories per uh, slice. So here it divides 60 calories on three slices to get uh, 20 calories per slice and then multiply it by five to get the correct answer, which is pretty impressive. Now I ran the same uh, examples through GPT-4 and GPT-4 comes up with correct answers as well. So it's not a new capability, but it's actually impressive to see that Grok team was able to add this capability. Now here are some other examples. For example, you can provide a, uh, an image and ask it to write a story and it uh, can understand the images and based on that, it comes up with a pretty interesting story. Now here's a fun one. So it's a meme uh, and the prompt is, I don't get it, please explain. So it correctly identifies that there is humor in the image because it can understand images. So it says on the left side labeled startups, there's a group of people working together to dig a hole. They are all actively participating and the hole is already quite deep. Now on the right hand side, which is labeled as big companies, there is a group of people standing, standing around a hole. However, unlike the startup side, only one person is actually digging the hole while the others are watching or engaged in other activities. So Grok got humor. Now you can use the uh, same model to basically convert images into tables or extract uh, data uh, from those images, which is pretty useful. And along with the uh, model announcement, they also released this real world Q&A, which consists of around 100, uh, 700 images. 
it seems like they are also adding some images taken from Tesla because it says uh, there are images taken from vehicles in addition to other real world images uh, and now you can actually use this uh, data set to create your own vision models. Now most of the things that Croc 1.5 vision can do can be done with other models but it's great to see that the X platform is adding vision capabilities and uh, with this it will become a lot more useful. Uh, it will be interesting to see when they release the model and how the results are on actual uh, real-world tests. I personally don't really pay close attention to benchmarks results, but I'm looking forward to the release of this model. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.